Are you worried that a certain hairstyle in Splatoon 3 makes you a bigger target? Do you truly believe these new models and hairstyles have a similar hitbox? Or is there an ounce of curiosity within you to test this theory out? Well, that's exactly what we did. Let's figure this out. Here we have... I'm sorry, I forgot your name. But here we have this Octoling. They have the standard Octoling hairstyle. As you can see, one player disconnected. <laughs> but as you can see, there's kind of of a kind of of a hitbox around the hair. Nothing too crazy. I mean, you could apparently get a splat from going all the way over here. You can get a splat from all the way here from probably the long strands of hair. You can get a splat on the other side as well. So, that seems to be the hitbox. Now, let's find out about the afro. All right, Jerry, look at me real quick. All right, so here is the afro. And by the looks of it, it doesn't seem that that's the case. Having an afro doesn't make you a bigger target. I'm currently hovering right above Jerry's head. And so far, there's really no hitbox. Now you may be saying, well of course, that should be problem solved, right? They all have similar hitboxes because of the model, but no, hear me out. You never know. What if a certain hairstyle does have a different hitbox? Test number two. Here, we have an inkling with the standard Splatoon 3 haircut. And here, we have a Pompadour Octoling haircut. Does having a certain hairstyle make them a bigger target? Well, from the looks of it, they're kind of standing, you know, similar height, hovering the crosshair over their head. You can see that you can kind of, maybe, splat them if you barely touch their hair. As for the inkling, it's almost the same. They have a similar hitbox around their hair. If you go a little farther to the right, you can't splat them. So that may give us a bit of an answer. Something that I previously forgot to do was check the back side of their head. So, for example, here we have... Here, let's go on this side. Here we have the pompadour. The pompadour has a bit of a... of a little tentacle sticking out on the back. You can kind of see that it does maybe splat them, but I'm not sure if I'm actually splatting the inkling here with the standard haircut uh actually uh, hello, uh excuse me could you walk forward a little bit test subject number one on the left thank you a little bit more a little bit more all right there you go test subject two uh no stand stand behind them right here thank you now look forward and let's find out so from this there's no tentacles that i'm aiming at and I'm kind of just aiming at the air. And assuming if I were to fire right now, I probably would splat him. And now looking at Inkling with the Inkling standard haircut, it's kind of the same, as you can see. So, does a certain hairstyle make you bigger? My crosshair there says that uh, I should get the splat, but apparently if I just slightly... That's see that's a little strange. Like I'm 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 trying to aim right where it says that I'm going to get a hit. Oh, but there you go. Third time's the charm. It worked. Here, let's try on inkling subject number 1. Let's aim for their hair. And we fire. Right there. So, I guess that kind of splats. Oh, hey, what's up? If hairstyles don't make you a bigger target, what about hats? As you can see here, test subject random has the, the fishbowl head. Test subject Jesus has a top hat. Taking a look at them, they kind of seem to be a big difference. You know, this is a regular sized inkling head. And that's just a menace to society. So, does this make you a bigger target. 
Let's find out. Let's just drag the crosshair around the head. And um, I guess aiming at the fin for the fish head doesn't count as the hitbox of the, the, the character. Moving around and aiming at the fish head. You can see that the, the top is still kind of the same. Something that I forgot to do was get closer as well. Um, nothing really seems to be changing. It's all kind of the same. So, if you have the fish head, don't worry. I don't think you'll be a bigger target. So let's find out what the top hat. Does the top hat have a slightly bigger hitbox? Or is it the same? Well, from the looks of it, the looks of it again, taking a look at the top of the head, um, there really doesn't seem to be much of a hitbox up there. I guess it's kind of empty, you know? Because, you know, Inklings and Octlings have no brains. Ah, <laughs> got him! Just kidding. Look at this. No brain. No head. Just empty. You can shoot the top of their head, and it'll go right through them. Alright, taking a look at the side profile. Really close. We can see that once again, the fin really doesn't get you splatted. And the back of the giant, enormous head also kind of doesn't get you splatted. Oh, never mind, I lied. It does. The fin, you're safe. The back of your head, you're dead. As for the top hat, once again, head empty, no thoughts, no brain, no splat. Back of the top hat, I guess if you hit the brim, that's a splat, which is kind of strange. So, if a certain hairstyle doesn't make them a bigger hitbox, if headgear doesn't make them a bigger hitbox, what about the shoes making them a bigger hitbox? And not saying the size of the shoes, the height of the shoes. I have slightly altered the controls to have no motion. We can see... Scrolling the crosshair upwards, little by little, as best as possible, on the tall octoling, we can see that this, according to the game, should be a splat. Now, if I walk to the right, above this shorter octoling, we can see that it kind of is a splat, kind of isn't. The game, okay, never mind, I guess the game decided yeah, that, yeah, this is a splat. Let's try this again. Let's go over to the left. Look up ever so slightly. Okay, that doesn't count as a splat according to the game. According to the game, this should be a splat on the subject on the left. Now, once again, if I move slightly to the right on the shorter subject, it says that this should also be a splat. So, so do shoes make you a bigger target? Probably not. Oh yeah, I also forgot uh, to try out the witch hat. Does the witch hat make you a bigger hitbox? Let's find out. No, you can shoot the tip of the witch hat and you wouldn't get a splat. So remember, if you ever see a player wearing a witch hat, to aim downwards. Because if you hit the tip of the hat, you think you may get a splat, but it won't register because that's not part of their body. That's why you have to aim downwards. So... In conclusion, does having a certain hairstyle make you a bigger target? No. Wear your afros, wear your pompadours, wear your spiky cuts. You're free to go. Don't worry, you won't get splatted. But does a certain hat make you a bigger target? No, you don't have to worry about it either. Just, just wear any hat that you like. You can wear the witch hat. But finally... Do shoes make you a taller target? And once again, not really. So I guess the Splatoon dev team really nailed this one down with trying to make everybody in as equal as possible when it comes to having a hitbox. But at the same time, it really doesn't matter. I mean, d d d does, does having a bigger hitbox matter? I mean, it's not like you're going to aim perfect precision. I mean, you could just splat people like that. Hitboxes don't matter in this game. Just aim for the body. Headshots don't exist in this game. Just just splat anybody as you as you please. GG. That's it. Test over. <laughs>